Good morning, YouTube. I'm Dr. Arthur D. Kemp, a.k.a. Hammond Doc, here once again for another installment of a session on something that I hope will be of interest to you in the Hammond organ community. One of the great benefits of being Hammond Doc is that I receive so many wonderful comments, um, feedback from people all over the world, but I also receive <laughs> uh, many, many requests. Now, I'm, I'm a very busy fellow, very busy uh, individual, and I uh, have many uh, obligations and responsibilities uh, and so forth, but what I try to do is I try to honor as many requests as I possibly can. So today I'm going to try to honor uh, a request uh, from a young man by the name of Kendrick795. So this is a shout out to you, Kendrick795. Uh, Kendrick asked if I would talk about uh, the use of different tubes in order to modify the tone uh, in the Hammond organ. So, uh, Kendrick, I it would be it, it, it will be my pleasure uh, to do this on your behalf. Thank you so much for uh, sending me a note and for requesting me to do this for you. It's my pleasure. I think that what I'll do is is I'll talk about this in um, a, a two-part video uh, series. Not that uh, either one of the videos will be so long, but um, I'm going to separate the videos uh, in this in this regard. Uh, in this segment, I will talk about changing. Uh, tubes in the AO28 preamplifier of the Hammond organ and um, what that can do for you. And then I'll come back in another video and talking about uh, tube changes that can be made uh, in the Leslie amplifier and what that uh, can do for you as well. Let's start with the AO28. Now, um, one tube that's important for you to consider in terms of um, the, the tone of the uh, Hammond organ is the 12AX7. Okay? Uh, the 12AX7. Now, Follow me on what, what I'm getting ready to say to do with the 12AX7. The first thing you want to do is you want to pull your 12AX7 tube. The, this is a 12AX7. And you want to check that. You want to evaluate uh, the integrity of your 12AX7. Now, hopefully your 12AX7 will test good. Okay? So then you put it back in your organ and, and, and play, play the organ with that 12AX7 in it. Then replace, try replacing that 12AX7 with another 12AX7, with a, with a brand new 12AX7. And if you have uh, several different 12AX7s from different companies from different manufacturers play the organ uh, with those different 12 AX7s installed. What uh, you may find is that you may find that the organ has different uh, sounds or give you different tones depending on the 12 AX7 tube that you have uh, in your AO. 28. 
there are some AX7 uh, tubes that will check good on a tube tester, but when you replace that 12 AX7 with a, another 12, 12 AX7, your organ can actually sound better. It, it, you can get a, an improved uh, quality of tone or a different quality of tone. So uh, that's one thing that uh, I would recommend or suggest that you might consider Kendrick is switching out your 12 AX7 and doing some experimenting with that uh, particular tube uh, and see which one you want to go with. Um, I use, uh, this is a tongue sole, I use new tongue soles. There are other, there are other tubes that you can use as well and uh, like uh, Electro Harmon X and, and so forth and um, see what you get when you do the experimentation with that. Um, now on another um, another thought is that if you have a, 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 a heavy sounding organ a full uh, meaty sounding organ and you want to thin out the tone if you want to you want to thin it out some then uh, you can try substituting the 12 AX7 for a Jan J A N 57 51 tube okay and uh, uh, that Jan 5751 is a it's a vintage uh, military tube and you can you can usually find those uh, on on eBay so look one up on eBay or there are places like Tube Depot and other places like that that you can order uh, virtually anything like any different types of tubes or online but check with eBay. And, and for that particular tube, that's a JAN5751. And what you're doing is you're going to experiment. You're going to use your, um, you listen to it, your organ with your 12 AX7. Then you're going to uh, extract the 12 AX7 and you're going to replace it with the uh, JAN5751 tube. And you're going to see what it sounds like. And it should give you a cleaner, thinner tone. Okay? Um, so those are a couple of suggestions that I have for you, Kendrick, uh, to try out. And, um, and and see what and see what you like see what you see what uh, you prefer in terms of the the sound once you've done this okay uh, I hope I've uh, helped you in this regard so I'm going to say this is Hammond Doc saying to you have a peaceful day. <laughs>